Hi, and welcome to this buffer ratio exam question. Let's first of all read the question through. A chemist needs to prepare a buffer solution that's actually pH poor using HNO2 and NaNO2. Calculate the volumes of 0.250 mole per decimeter cubed HNO2 and 0.250 mole per decimeter cubed of NaNO2 needed to make 250 centimeters cubed of this buffer solution. It gives you the KA value for HNO2 as well. So let's process what it tells us. First thing to look at is the fact that pH equals 4. That's the actual pH you're trying to get to. So therefore, in your buffer solution, your H plus aqueous concentration is going to be 10 to the minus pH or 10 to the minus 4. The buffer is made up using a weak acid and its conjugate base. So it's a straight buffer mixture, so there's no reaction, no partial neutralization, nothing like that. Also, it gives you the volumes. So, uh, sorry, the concentrations. So we've given through the concentrations that go into the K expression already. So using a buffer equations, let's have a think about how we might do that. The first step is to write out the equation for the um, acid dissociation. So HNO2 is a weak acid. You know this because it's giving you the K value. So you can write out that equation. And now you can write the K expression for that dissociation like so. So because they want the volumes, that must mean there's two concentrations you're looking for. So it looks to me like it's a racial question. So you can rearrange the K expression, so the um, NO2 minus ion concentration to HNO2 concentration is the, ratio, is the um, subject. So that's what it looks like as a K expression. And this is what it looks like as a rearrangement so that you've got your ratio as a subject. So the next thing to do is to put the numbers in and do the calculation. So insert the values that you know. So you know what 4 times 10 to the minus 4 is. That's your k value. You know that 10 to the minus 4 is going to be your h plus value. So 4 over 1 is the ratio you're looking for. So it now tells you, obviously, that you need 4 times as much sodium nitrate as you do in HNO2. To achieve pH 4, so therefore you divide up the total volume, uh, which is 250 centimeters cubed, into this ratio. So you have a 4 to 1 ratio that totals 250. So 4 fifths of your volume is going to be NaNO2, which is 200 centimeters cubed, and uh, 1 fifth of your volume is going to be HNO2, which is 50 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's a quick look at this type of question. Um, and how to process some of the information it's giving you. Thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.